Hey guys, Threads here. So today we're going to be looking at the survival bracelet. I ordered this one off Amazon. It was just a few dollars. Um, back in the day, people used to hand make these and there was a lot of thought and care that went into them and there was very specific items that was put into them and all that kind of stuff. And now it's become more of a fad, more of a gimmick, more of a, you know, hey, you know, survival bracelets, everyone needs to get one and wear one all the time. You know, if something was to happen, you can live off of this. I feel like I have a hair. I did have a hair. <laughs> so this one, it's by a company called Free Kid. I don't know if you're gonna be able to make that out or not. But this one, you know, it has a compass which is pretty accurate. I'm impressed with that. It has the, the uh, survival whistle right there. Um, you know, it's adjustable, fit different wrist sizes and whatnot. The interesting thing about this one is right in the middle, this thing right here, is a fire starter. And then it comes with a little striker right there. Um, you know, it comes with, you know, this, this long piece of paracord on each side, you know, and it is separate pieces. It's not one continuous piece. Um, I am not going to hold my breath. I'm not a fan of this style of striker to begin with. Yeah, all I'm doing is making a big mess on my surface here. So see, for some reason, people started putting these serrated edges on their strikers. Not exactly sure why or what the thought process was. Um, personally, I've always found that a nice straight edge is going to give you much better results as is in the case with this because we are getting nothing with that. Let's, uh, that might be sharp enough. Wow, it is removing a ton of stuff, but it is not. There we go, finally. So, there we go. If you work really hard at it, all it's doing is shaving. It's just shaving everything off. But if you work really hard at it, with a regular knife, you can get a spark. But, oh, there we go, finally. So, I guess if you were dying <laughs> in the middle of the forest and you had this, and you had knowledge and skills to be able to make a tender bundle and all that, this would absolutely maybe start a fire. Um, like I said, it's a gimmick. It is su super, super, super gimmicky. Um, you know what? Let's, let's see here. I have no intentions on keeping this for anything, so let's see how much paracord is actually here. I mean, you have a decent, decent amount. I would say that's probably. Eh, between three and four feet. So you would have some cordage and, a, and it actually does have, no, well, yeah, this is the super not good paracord, but you would have something. So that's that side. Now let's do this other side here. 
I'm trying to make sure that I don't cut it to where we won't be able to get the maximum usage of our paracord. All right, so finally, I think this one, this other side is just a little bit longer. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, the other side's just a few inches longer. Um, again, some cordage is better than no cordage. This isn't uh, high quality by any means, but it's better than nothing. But very gimmicky. Um, I would not consider this a, a, anything for survival whatsoever other than this right here, which you can just buy an entire hank of paracord and just keep it in your bag and call it a day. Uh, this little fire starter, although it does throw some sparks, it's very gimmicky. Um, I don't imagine in an emergency survival situation it's going to fare well. Uh, really, the compass and the whistle, take away the fire starter, the compass and the whistle is probably the best thing of this. And now I have a cord lock I can use for something else. Um, so, there's that. <clears throat> Again, it's a gimmicky thing. People will buy these, oh, it's a survival bracelet, and you know, it's it's not, okay? It's it's just, it's a fad, it's a gimmicky thing. Um, I'm gonna pull up exactly how much I paid for this. Again, all that this came from the Amazons. Let's see here. Well, I've gotta find it here. Now, mind you, most gear that I order on Amazon, it's it's pretty decent. It's it's not bad. The knives are good um, for the most part, um, but sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work out. So I don't know if this is just completely gone or what, but it is not showing up in my order history. So let me do a quick search on my history here. There it is. Okay, so this also came with a little carabiner keychain thing, which I did not get out of the review box um, because honestly, I wasn't 100% sure if it came with this or another item that I'll be showing later. Um, it says that the keychain and carabiner is rated for you. It's 250 pound keychain, and I don't believe that for one second. Most standard plain Jane carabiners are 50, 60 pounds max. Uh, this thing has one rating of two stars, which is probably being fairly generous. That's probably for the compass and the whistle. Um, so this is what it says. Free kid bracelet survival gear kit with embedded compass, fire starter, emergency knife, and whistle. Slim buckle design, 250 pound keychains, key rings with carabiners, EDC for survival. Now, if they had just listed this as anything but the way that they did, it might be not such of a big deal. But I'm going to tell you right now, that little blade that they put in there, not exactly sure what you're gonna cut with that besides your finger trying to strike that tiny ferro rod um, about this item for you capitalized if something unexpected happens in the wilderness she can give you direction fire and better food in order to survive the toughest places toughest places five and one survival tool nine inches long I'm guessing overall length of the bracelet when it's not connected together. Uh, high quality compass, flint fire starter, fire scraper. Use it hiking. Uh, use it also as emergency knife, I'm sorry. Emergency whistle creates noise levels of up to 100 decibels. Great for camping, hiking, hunting, fishing, outdoor activities, travel, emergency and survival kits, etc. 
Uh, use and style, it's made by ultra strong military grade parachute cord, false. Buckle with built in compass, fire starter, emergency blade, and whistle. We have eight colors for your choose. There's only three. Uh, sports and smart design, easy carrying and storing for all kind of people. That makes for simply wear it on your wrist, snap it on your backpack, and enjoy a tactical survival kit always with you. And keychain can protect your object with whole. Some like keys. I like keys. They open locks. A bit of help. <laughs> okay, I have to really read this. A bit help for your life. So, again, this is 100% a gimmick, okay? These stores, they see an opportunity. They see, oh, and by the way, this was, this was $6, $5.99, uh, free prime shipping. You can get it within a day or two. Um, I wouldn't. I did it strictly for this review because these are the kind of things that I want to review. These are the kind of funny items that I want to see how much of it is gimmick, how much of it is an opportunity for sales. You figure they post this on here, they put all this stuff about emergency knife and whistle and you know, it'll save your life. It says right here, for you, something unexpected happens in the wilderness. She, this is female, she can give you direction, fire, and better food. It can give you better food in order to survive the toughest of places. So, you know, if you look at the pictures they have, <clears throat> It's, they have this before I took it apart. They have it as a bracelet hooked onto someone's DSLR camera. Has some people walking down the street. Um, it's got a compass and a knife and a firestone. They call it a firestone, a whistle. Uh, let's see, what's this other stuff? so easy okay they have a, a little picture of someone using a real ferro rod and striker and it says so easy and then it has a guy sitting on top of a log doing the old bow drill thing into a log it's just an illustration and it says you can and it shows a pot on a fire boiling water and it shows this big blazing fire all false <laughs> um okay so the nine inches things is, is that's how big around for wearing it uh, shows all these colors which again there there's only three colors listed there's not even any that say out of stock it just says black brown um, and mountain camo same description in all of them same price for all of them uh, again this stuff is gimmick. It's all gimmick. It's all to make sales. It's, you know, you fact, you know, they put these on here for $6 a piece. Amazon is worldwide. There's, you know, there's tons of people shopping and looking on Amazon. They see all this stuff. They think they're getting a knife and there's going to be all this hidden stuff like the real survival ba bracelets, baskets, <laughs> the real survival bracelets back in the day had, they had all kinds of stuff that they would make into the weave. Um, this is gimmick. Skip this. This will be getting a one star review from me. Um, you win some, lose some. And in this case, this is definitely a loss. We don't want this. So, if you made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in today. Please like, share, and subscribe. I've got some more reviews from the Amazons coming very soon. I built a wish list that has a lot of stuff that I'm generally interested in getting and testing out and reviewing. And then I also like to throw just some really stupid gimmicky stuff in there that I would like to get. Um, I'll post a link in the description if you feel so inclined, uh, you know, throw some of that my way. If you see something really crazy on here that you just think is a super gimmicky item that there's no way it's gonna work, you know, shoot me a message, leave me a comment. I'll go check it out. If it's something I feel like is going to be uh, worth the look, I'll grab it and, and take a look. Uh, so until next time, guys, take care.